So a little moment of transparency here. I gotta say, I feel almost guilty because I'm sitting just under six weeks out and I don't feel like I'm in prep, which is like, it's a really good thing. It's a, that's a great way to go through prep is not feeling like you're in prep, but comparing this prep to my last prep at six weeks out, just under six weeks out, I was hurting last time. I gotta say like, it has been night and day from my last round. I just feel like my strength is on point. I don't feel rushed. I feel like my body's on point. I've got a little ways to go, but I'm not feeling pressured to like drop a bunch of weight at this stage. Um, I'm just feeling good, like energy wise, outlook. I'm feeling really confident about this show. Workouts have just been bombing. Groin is all healed up. I'm feeling really good and I feel guilty for it because I know that there are people out there suffering the way that I suffered the last time around and it sucked. And that is no way to go through prep. It really isn't. If all preps could be like this, everyone would compete. It's awesome. Getting lean, diet's working. All the cardio's done outside. It's like I'm not grinding away on the stairs. I have done a couple stair sessions. And don't get me wrong, like it's still prep. It's still tough. There's still tough times, but just this go around has been so good. And I know that there's still, you know, six weeks left. And I know that like between week three and week four is when I was really hurting last time. So it's almost like I'm waiting for that to happen. But I think at the rate that I'm going, like this is just, it's going to be a really solid time, like straight through to the finish, strong at the finish. It's like I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. And hopefully it doesn't. And also like, I'm not trying to discount prep in any way. It's hard, it's a hard process. You're training really hard. You know, you are doing cardio, it is dieting. There are energy issues that come into play. And I know that this is like the running trend that I keep coming back to, but I really want to drive this point home because I think that this is key. This has been so key for me anyways, based on my personal experience sleep 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 like my sleep this time around has been infinitely better than it was last time around and i think that that is why i'm enjoying this process so much more this time is i have energy too and my mind is in the right place and things aren't a struggle you know because the sleep is there the energy is there the mindset's there that said I'm rambling on. Six weeks out, let's do it.
So in the spirit of having everything ready, you know, like a million weeks in advance so that you don't have to worry about it, I figured I would go ahead and just get my show day bag ready to go. So I'm going to show you guys what I plan to put in it. So right off the bat, this was the bag that I packed everything in last year. And what I wish that I had was a bag that had wheels and a handle so I could just pull it. Because once you get tanned, you don't want to be putting straps around your shoulder or carrying heavy items around because you don't want to wreck your tan. You don't want to wreck your nails. You don't want to wreck anything about the way you're looking. So a bag with wheels would have been super handy last year and I'm actually going to go pick one up for this year. So the things that I am packing so far, I've got my dark sheet set for the bed. Uh, rain poncho because I now live in one of the rainiest places in the world so there's a good chance it's gonna be raining on show day and I'll need that to cover up my tan. Then I've got a loose fitting pair of black pants, um, a loose tank top to wear to bed after I get tan and I've also got a really loose fitting dress um, just to wear around the hotel after I get tanned. And then I've got a few rags, um, dark colored washcloths, um, because you don't want to be getting tan all over the hotel sheets and the hotel towels. I've got my pump up bands. I will also be bringing um, a couple of lightweight dumbbells. I kind of wish that I had that last year. The bands work, but it's easier to get a pump with dumbbells, I find. I've got a handheld mirror here. One of the things that I wish that I had last year was a full-length mirror. A few people ended up bringing full-length mirrors. So they had them um, at the venue where the show was, but um, the venue actually did not have full-length mirrors backstage, so it was kind of frustrating not being able to see how you're looking throughout the day. Then I've got my bling jewelry that I showed you guys in last week's vlog, and I've also got my jewelry from last year's show, so backup jewelry just in case. Then I have, I've got this year's suit in here. It's fucking beautiful and I can't wait to show you guys. Um, I've got last year's suit in here, aka a backup suit just in case. Um, I've got bikini bite, super glue, a little sewing kit, and there's some extra rhinestones in there in case I need to do any last minute emergency alterations to the suit. So those are the items that I definitely will be using all of these, I'm sure. And these are the items that I'm bringing. However, it's just kind of like to have on hand just as backup. I don't think I actually used anything here at the last show but it was you know nice just to have it on hand so scotch tape i don't even know why like what are you going to be taping but i packed it anyway i've got my little drugstore here tylenol i've got tums just some gas x pills alka seltzer and i've got some hand sanitizer band-aids wet ones i've got some dental floss and some teeth cleaning kit in here got a little manicure kit just in case tweezers scissors in there emery board vaseline baby powder and i've got some makeup powder just loose powder in there and a brush and then this little guy i picked this up at sephora last year and i just thought this was a freaking genius little tiny kit to have um so it's called the mini emergency kit and basically what you have in here is bobby pins breath drops band-aids safety pins earring backs a deodorant towelette stain remover um, lip balm clear elastics emery board a tampon hairspray clear nail polish just a ton of little things that you probably will never even need but just so easy to have on hand and I thought it was just such a great idea 
to toss it into your bag so that you've got it in case you need it. Probably won't. I didn't need it last year, but it's good to have. So that is what I have so far for my show day bag. So really the only things that I need to add are a couple lightweight dumbbells and I need to get a bag on wheels. That is the next step. So mash slash whipped cauliflower has become my new favorite staple volume food. I have to thank my friend Regina for this one. I'm going to do a little segment right now to show you how I make it and I will also link you to Regina's profile. She has tons of really awesome macro friendly high volume recipe suggestions in her vlog. If you haven't checked it out, do check it out, but I'm also gonna take you through how to make it right now too. It is so good and it needs to be shared. Also, in case you're wondering, this is basically just a salad bowl full of spinach, um, three ounces of chicken breast, steamed broccoli slaw, and then I mix in the cauliflower mash. It's just so much volume and it fills me up. I've got my flavored water here too. And that will be dinner, but uh, yeah, so filling. I'm actually like sitting at my desk watching this, debating whether or not to even do a voiceover <laughs> because it is so simple, guys. All you do is uh, boil two heads of cauliflower. I like to do two because I like to food prep a ton at a time. So boil it until it's super tender, um, drain, then you mash it up with a fork, put it in a food processor, add two bouillon cubes of your choice. I don't even know if I said that properly. Bouillon, 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 bouillon. Um, and some mustache, and um, then you're good to go on the cauliflower front. Turn on your food processor and let it blend, 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 and then you have cauliflower mash. So there is your super easy peasy lemon squeezy recipe for cauliflower mash. It's Sunday wrap-up time, another week in the bag, sitting just under five weeks out now. To be totally honest, like at this point, it's just lather, rinse, repeat. It's the same schedule over and over, it's the same routine, and that's good. Like I, I'm happy being in a routine, and that's kind of the way that I want to finish this prep, is just staying in my routine so that I can stay feeling how I'm feeling, which is still awesome. The only thing that I am kind of struggling with and that, you know, I find most people struggle with at this point in prep, am I gonna be ready in time? It's that unsure of yourself, questioning your progress, how you're looking. That can be a bit of a mental roller coaster ride. 
It's, you know, going from one minute feeling like you're ready to the next minute feeling like you need an extra couple of weeks to be ready to the next moment feeling like you're not going to be ready. And that is like, it's such a huge battle. And I went through that last time too. And I'm sure I will continue to go through it this time. That is, it's all about mindset. You just have to, you know, I think that's where the expression trust the process comes in is you really do have to just learn to trust the process and trust that you'll be ready on time and just keep doing what you need to be doing, do the work and know that you'll get there. I know that five weeks is a lot of time too. It's not, it seems like not a lot of time, but it actually is quite a bit of time. You can do quite a bit of damage in five weeks. So everything's status quo and I think that's it for me for this week. So I'll leave it there and uh, I'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Bye.